And if you are just tuning in, here are the stories you need to know about to get your day started. Happening today, the new order from the governor says some retailers can reopen with curbside pickup only. Select stores will be allowed to open with curbside service if they meet specific safety requirements. Those outlets include bookstores, clothing stores, florist and sporting goods stores. The order does not cover what lawmakers consider higher risk businesses such as gyms, hair salons and dine-in restaurants. As our state prepares for its partial reopening, experts are warning that California could be looking at an over $54 billion deficit. Governor Gavin Newsom is set to release a revised state budget in about a week. With 4.2 million Californians now unemployed, experts say state revenues will take a big hit. The Bureau of Labor Statistics has released its April jobs report, and it says the unemployment rate has hit 14.7%. Economists say the pandemic has wiped away almost all the job growth achieved during the 11-year recovery from the Great Recession of 2008 in just one month. More than 30 million people have filed for unemployment benefits over the past six weeks as a result of this pandemic. Keep your eyes to the skies this Saturday for a dose of air power over Northern California, all to honor health care workers. The T-38S and 9th Reconnaissance Wing are scheduled to perform a formation flyover, taking off from Beale Air Force Base at 12 p.m. and pass over medical facilities in the towns of Grass Valley, Yuba City, Roseville, Oroville, and many more before returning to its base. And Redding's 4th of July firework display will go on, but the Redding City Council has canceled the Freedom Festival unless large public gatherings are allowed by then, and that would mean there would be time to plan the event. The fireworks display will be held from the Redding Civic Auditorium lawn. The annual Freedom Festival typically draws about 5,000 people every year. The Gateway Unified School District in Redding has posted five Wi-Fi equipped school buses around the area. Now this is all to help students get online. The buses are located at Alder and Clay Streets, Buckeye Terrace, Masonic Avenue, North Boulder Creek and Boulder Creek Court and Riddle Road. The internet service is free and students simply need to be within 300 feet of those buses. The Wi-Fi buses are to help any students who have a difficult time connecting to the internet. And Chico State will be giving millions of dollars back to students financially hit by the coronavirus. Chico State received nearly $10 million to help students handle housing in, in, as well as school supplies. Six and a half million dollars has already been distributed. That money is from a grant made possible through the CARES Act.